I've tried a ton of AI tools. It feels like new tools are dropping every single day. And from experience, I know that you can get overwhelmed by trying them all. But for the past couple of months, I've been using the same ones consistently over and over again. I mean, these tools have been helping me think clearer, write faster, and build smarter without wasting time. The first two on this list probably saved me the most amount of time and mental energy, and it's fairly new. It's Gemini 2.5 within Google AI Studio. Let me just say up front, this thing is crazy good. First off, it's free. And I know most AI has a free model, but let me tell you why Google is amazing. The context window, the context window is just wild. We're talking about up to 1 million tokens, which roughly translates to about 750,000 words. Most free tiers I've seen does not allow you to have that much input in their free tiers. With Gemini, I'm able to give you the full vision, my audience persona, my draft scripts, my outlines, 10 of my transcripts, my entire code bases, literally everything and it builds something that makes perfect sense in the big picture. Let me give you a real world example. I exported over 10,000 YouTube comments from my channel, just raw thoughts from my audience. I paired that with a detailed description of my audience persona, then fit both of that into Gemini with one prompt, asking you to go through comments and ranking each one through 10 based on its potential to be a video idea. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it delivered. It filtered out all the fluff, flagged the real stuff. I mean, comments where people were asking really good questions that I didn't even see. And one of the comments that I flagged was this one. Gemini tagged it as a request plus a potential idea and gave it a high score and explained that multiple people were asking variations of this same question across different videos. So instead of just replying with a short comment, I decided to turn it into a video. I mean, it's the video that you're watching right now. That kind of output only works because Gemini can actually see the full picture. It read all the comments and context of who I'm actually making content for no other tool that I've used can hold that much information in his head and still give feedback that feels dialed in. Definitely, definitely not on no free tier. But let me be clear, it's not magic. You still have to steer it. If you give it messy or vague inputs, the outputs are gonna be trash. But once you learn how to frame your prompts clearly and layer context, it becomes crazy powerful. But as powerful as Gemini is, it's still something that I have to sit down with. So it's more like a desk tool for me. Which brings me to tool number two. Now this one, this goes with me everywhere. I use it when I'm walking, driving, whenever I got ideas bouncing around in my head, but nowhere near a laptop, this is my go-to. That's where ChatGPT comes in, specifically with the voice feature turned on. This thing changes how I brainstorm. I'm using it to think out loud, so I'm using it to go back and forth with on what I'm thinking about, just to kind of spit all ideas. There's just something about talking it out that helps me clarify ideas in real time, and it's way faster for me than just typing it out. Usually it starts with a video idea. I have a rough idea or a topic that I want to hit, but instead of sitting down and forcing the structure right away, I'll just start talking out loud. I'll walk around, spitball different angles, hooks, personal stories, lines I want to say, even stuff I'm not sure yet. I'll just use that as a dump. It's basically my pre-outline dump. I don't filter anything. I'll just say things like, all right, I want to make a video on why people can't blog consistently. One thing I want to hit on is people overthinking gear, you know, things of that nature. And the thing is, I'm not trying to get it to be perfect. I'm just getting the ideas out of my head and into motion. So once I finish, I just dump everything to ChatGPT and I say, based on what I said, give me a rough outline with section headers and suggested timelines. Or highlight the key points and any strong phrases I should keep. This is just me rambling, so I want to make it a little more structured. That's what helps me build on an outline that feels natural and tight based on things that I actually said. So it's not just making up stuff. So when I sit down to record, I'm not just rambling, repeating myself, or forgetting a point that I actually wanted to hit. It's like pre-scripting without scripting. So the way I use it isn't for polished content, it's for the raw ideas before the polish. It's my way of thinking without all the pressure. Most people burn ideas because they overthink them way too much before they even written them down. This tool removes that barrier for me. Also, there is no friction. You don't need to set up, you don't need a quiet space, you don't need to open up five apps, you don't have to write a perfect prompt, you just have to talk. So once the ideas are mapped out and I know where the video is going, I usually run into one of two problems. One, there's a repetitive task slowing me down. Two, I know there's a smarter way to do it. I just don't have the patience to build it out from scratch. And that's where Cursor comes in. Cursor is an AI powered tool that looks and feels like VS Code, but with different AIs built into the sidebar like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini, it's actually really, really good. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not a full-time engineer or anything like that. But I do know enough Python to get me by. And with Cursor, I don't need to know anything. I need to know what I want. Let me show you what I mean. I wanted to analyze every single comment I've ever got on my YouTube videos because I know there is gold in the comments. Different pain points, different questions. 
stuff people have asked me to talk about, but there was no way I was about to scroll through all that manually. So what I did was I asked Cursor, write me a Python script that pulls all of my comments from my YouTube channel and saves them into a CSV. It built that base for me. And after a few tweaks, I had a working tool that pulled everything for me automatically. And now I just paired that data with Gemini to figure out the best video ideas based on real audience data, not just vibes. That's something that most creators wish they can do. I built it in one afternoon with Cursor. Another one, thumbnails. We all know thumbnails are an important part to a YouTube video. It's probably one of the most important parts of a YouTube video, but I'm not gonna lie. Making an amazing thumbnail is not my strong suit. So I had to make it very easy for myself, which is simply finding good screenshots of my videos. But to do that is kind of, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's kind of painful. You're scrubbing back and forth through footage, screenshotting random moments, trying to pause at the right frame. So what I did was, I told Cursor to write a script that analyzes a video's file and automatically saves the 100 clearest frames based on its sharpness. Bonus if it skips blurry or low light ones. And it did just that. Now I just run that script within a couple of seconds, I got in a full folder full of thumbnail ready images that I can just scroll through, pick the ones that I like, and use those to make my thumbnails. Another very big time saver for me. And look, I'm not saying it's a one and done type prompt. It is never a one and done type situation. I usually have to review the code, tweak a few things, ask a couple follow-up questions when something breaks, but it's way faster than figuring out things all on my own. And the best part, none of it has to be perfect because I'm not deploying any of this. I'm not building out a SaaS product. I am simply only solving my own problems. These are tools that I make that run locally just for me. Stuff that makes my workflow easier. Scripts that help me move faster. And that's what makes Cursor so valuable. It turns, man, I wish I could have this automated to give me an hour and I'll build it. Even if you're not super technical, if you're curious and willing to learn, this tool is going to change how you work. So the first three tools were about building, thinking, and automating things. But eventually, you need to put something in the world, something that feels clean, feels intentional, and doesn't take months to design. That's where tool number four comes in. Lovable.dev. This tool is like having your own little website builder right in your pocket that you can talk to. You literally just type what you want and Lovable builds it for you. Like this media kit, for example, because I want to have a media kit website that brands can easily look at all my information. And it did just that. It built out a whole page for me, made it look really clean, and I was able to even use my own domain. And the best part about it is, I did not have to touch any code. But to be clear, if you want to use code, you 100% can. But you do not need design skills, you do not need to know how to code, you just need to know how to tell it what you want, and it's gonna make it happen. And the more detailed you are, the better the outcome is gonna be. I use it for newsletters, wait lists, stuff that I usually put out, I didn't wanna deal with design, I used it. Honestly, every link that you've seen from me, has been built through Lovable. And anytime I want to change something, I can describe what I want in plain English. I just have to communicate. And look, this is not a sponsored video. This is my real raw feelings because these tools that I've listed have saved me thousands of hours. But let me be real for a second. If you use these tools but still overthink every single move, you're doing it wrong. AI is not going to save your channel. It's not gonna make your content better by itself. It's not gonna fix your lack of consistency or magically hands you a winning niche. It's not gonna do none of that. What it will do though, is remove the friction. It's gonna give you the speed and space to put in reps because that's what actually gets results. It's reps and a lot of them. So don't chase the tools, use them. Use the tools to chase momentum. Pick one tool from this video if you find yourself getting even a little curious and go solve a problem that you've been putting off. Whether it's writing, scripting, organizing, building, pick one thing that'll save you time this week and go try it like right now.